Hi, I'm Alicia and welcome to my channel Papercraft Secrets. Today I'm sharing a set of 10 Minte Peony Garden cards that I created for a class. And in this class, we need the Peony Garden 6x8 out on paper pack. We need the 60 paper die cuts. We need the Minte Chippy frames too. And we need the fancy cards with the scalloped edge down the bottom. These cards have a lovely shabby chic feel or a vintage feel to them. Um, pretty pink colours with touches of green, distressed um, tags and pretty little kittens. So here we are with the products that we're going to be using, the fancy cards, the Minte Peony Garden 6x8 paper pad and the paper die cuts we're using today. And this is the lovely Frames 2 chippy that we're using and we'll be painting that with the white um, creative uh, chalk paint. So let's make a start and we'll start by painting our chippy because we'll need time for that to dry. So if you start just with a foam brush and your Minte Creative or white chalk paint, just covering over the chippy with, with the paint, basically just painting that on, getting all that paint on, and then we will leave that to dry. Now we have 10 little frames on this chippy and that's why we're going to be making 10 cards today. And you can see there are different sizes and different shapes. So each frame will create a different feel on the, each of the cards. Pop that to the side now. Moving on to step two and we're going to pull out 10 of the card bases from the note paper pad there. And we're going to score those at six inches on our scoring board. Oops, <laughs> not five, six inches. And then we will fold that in half and smooth that down. So you just need to repeat that for each of your cards folding at six inches. If you would like the um, printed instructions for this video, um, it is available on my Patreon site. So you can find the link in the video description below and you can hop on over to Patreon and become a part of the community, the Paper Craft Secrets Classroom, uh, where you get lots and lots of benefits such as free instructions, free printables and um, special videos. So here we are now, we've got our cards all ready and we're moving on to step three where we need to choose five of our papers. So I'm going through and ripping out my favourite pages. Now I wanted to point out here that you can decide with your cards if you would like a more green themed set of cards if you love green you can use the greener sides of the papers or if you prefer to create a pinker style card then you can use the pink side of the papers so the versatility here with this paper collection um, you can choose pink or green so our next step is we're going to be cutting these in half at four inches so we're making four by six inch rectangles. So each one of those pages that you've chosen that you like, cutting it at four inches. And there you can see the green side if you wanted to use green or the pink side if you wanted to use pink or you can use a mixture of both. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to glue the paper straight onto the front of the card, which is an unusual way to do it, I know. And I'm leaving a little border around the top and the sides, but there'll be no border around the bottom. So 
Just gluing all of those on and allowing those to dry. Almost there. All right, so they're all looking really pretty and you can see I've chosen the pink. So now what we're going to do is open up each card and we're trimming the fussy cut edge with our scissors. Now the good news is, is that if you um, can't get the exact edge as nicely as you want it, when we ink our edges, you won't notice if there's any little bits of pieces that you didn't cut perfectly. So just don't stress too much about the cutting. What we will do is we'll ink all of our edges in a moment and you won't even notice if you haven't cut exactly perfectly. So the next step is pushing out of our, our frames, out of the chippy. Taking your time so that you're getting all of those little filigree bits ready. So now we're moving on to step five, cutting and gluing. So what we're doing here is we're choosing another five pieces of paper and cutting again at four inches. This will be for the inside of our cards. So choose papers that um, you can write over the top of for your message. You know, you don't want something too busy that you can't write over it, you can't read what you've written. So just putting all of those on. Now what you might find is that you want to do a little slight bit of trimming at the bottom, okay, due to the little folds. You see that tiny little edge there? You can just trim that off with your scissors or you can use um, a paper trimmer to do that. And just get a little tiny bit of overhang due to the fold in the card. So go through and trim all of those off. Step six, we're going to be choosing another four pieces of paper. These are for our tags. We're making tags in our kit. Okay, and we're going to cut at four and a half inches on the short side and then two and a half inches on the long side. This is going to make four and a half by two and a half inch rectangles. I'm going to do that with um, all the pages that you've chosen so that we have enough tags for one each for all 10 of our cards. So you're going to need 10 rectangles. Now I'm cutting these based on um, a tag from the Paper Elements kit, the Paper Elements little package that comes with each of the Minte product lines. But you can use any tag to cut off the corners and measure where you need to cut there. It just helps if you've got something to follow so that your corners are even. Our next step will be to punch a hole in the centre of our tag. So we're going through and doing our best to get it in the centre of each of our 10 tags. Now, once we've done that, our tags are ready, but we need also to add some twine. Now for a tag, I like to cut my twine to about 30 centimeters. You can do it at 40 if you like a little bit extra twine to tie your bow. So you're going to do that, and then we're going to ink our tags as well, and we're going to ink our edges. So choose some brown ink. Maybe you've got a nice vintage brown ink or a dark brown ink. Choose the ink that you wish to use and ink all the edges of your cards and all the edges of your tags. And then go through and cut all of your twine to either 30 centimeters or 40 centimeters, depending on what you personally prefer. So once you've got all of those cut, then it's just time to 
um, thread those through, fold them in half, push them through the hole and then just do the little loop and then a bow is how I usually do my tags. And that just gives a nice little bow at the top of your tag. Now we're up to building our card, step seven. I found with the really large chippies that I felt they looked better with the insides pushed out. But the smaller chippies, I liked the insides kept in. So it's up to you as to what you prefer for your cards. Experiment and see what you like. Now, the scraps from your chippies can be used on the backs of your tags instead of recycled cardboard or instead of mounting tape. I'm putting two bits of recycle, like the scraps from the chippies, on the back of each of my tags to create some height on my cards. We're going to be gluing the tag to the right hand side of the card, just a little bit from the edge. Pop it on there in the middle and then the frame is going to go in the centre of the card. Popping it on there. Now you might want to experiment whether you want the tag on the right hand side, on the left hand side, or whether you really prefer your tag in the middle. And each one of your cards can be different. So go through and do that for each one of your cards. Now we're going to go through and position our paper die cuts onto our card. And this is just a little bit of experimenting. First of all, I'm picking large sort of items, large die cuts to begin with. And I'm just seeing how they feel with the chippy. What goes nicely together. If you don't like to fussy cut, then the paper die cuts are your best friend because you can use them without doing any fussy cutting to decorate a card. I used some of the paper die cuts and I also did some fussy cutting. But to start with, I'm going to show you how you can embellish a card with just using paper die cuts. So what I've done is I've just gone around and I've added some paper die cuts to each of the card just to get a feel for what might match together. And I changed this many times. So this is not set in stone. This is just laying, laying your cards out flat and laying your paper die cuts onto the cards and the butterflies are beautiful in this collection, so we definitely use lots of butterflies. These are the fussy cut sheets in the 6x8 paper pad, and they have absolutely beautiful, beautiful um, designs. So I do recommend that you spend some time fussy cutting these designs as well, because these can add to your card. But first I'm going to show you how to create a card without any fussy cutting. I like to add some cheesecloth to the base of the card and then I'm using the chippy to allow the paper die cut to be up nice and high on the card. Of course you don't have to use chippy to create layers on your card. You can glue all of your layers down flat on your card if you prefer. The cheesecloth softens each layer. So if you're feeling like there's a lot of paper, just add a 
small piece of cheesecloth in between the paper layers and that will just create a softer feel. Positioning the cute little kitty on there as well. Just getting it in the right little position there with the peony flowers. There we go. And some butterflies for decoration. And that's our first card created. And that included no fussy cutting for that card there. That was all paper die cuts. You can see the height of the layers. Looking very, very beautiful. All right, so now we just repeat that process for all our other cards. Layering the chip, the um, cheesecloth in with the paper die cuts to create a little scene or a little cluster of embellishments. So starting with a large floral cluster and elevating it so it's higher than the frame. And then adding some cheesecloth. And now adding some elements. And for this one, I'm thinking I might put the little cat in the teacup. So I'm just making a little snip there so that I can sit the little kitty so it looks like it's inside the teacup. And then I'm going to position that onto the card. And then it's up to you as to what little extra embellishments you might like to have on this card. Little peony flower, a little glass candle holder, and a little kitten in the teacup. Giving it extra height so that it can be at the very top of the card. And then the butterflies to embellish. It's positioning that there. That's really sweet. Maybe another little flower tucked in behind there. That looks nice. And so that's our second card.
can trim off the cheesecloth if it's too much. You don't want a lot of cheesecloth, just a little bit poking out. Just making sure everything's straight. I think that's very sweet. And we just repeat this process with every card and just take your time and enjoy the process of designing the paper elements in a position that you like and that looks good for you. Every card will be different because everybody's got their own creative expression. Little basket there on that one. Stretch out that cheesecloth. Two layers of chippy on the kitten so that it's nice and high on the card. Positioning everything together, overlapping each other. Decorating with a butterfly. Maybe an extra little peony. Creating height on each card. And then adding just a little hat in under the pussycat there. And that's that card finished. And now moving on to the fussy cut images, I cut quite a few fussy cut images from the paper pad sheets that I showed you before and these are fabulous for adding extra images to your cards. Gives you lots more embellishments to work with. So just continue on with embellishing each of your cards enjoying the process of layering um, the papers on the chipboard and the cheesecloth and just enjoy that creative process. Remember if you would like the printable instructions to go along with this video just hop on over to Patreon for the Paper Craft Secrets Classroom and I'll upload them in there for the classroom members and you can follow along with the instructions and the video tutorial to create your set of 10 cards. And that brings us to the completion of this video tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you have a lovely time creating with the Minte Peony Garden Collection. It's a beautiful collection, perfect for shabby chic cards, which, is my, which are my favourite type of cards to create. Beautiful butterflies, sweet little kittens and lovely flowers. Come join us in the Papercraft Secret Classrooms. Make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely crafty day.